Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is something a little different, something I've not gotten to do before. It's kind of a first look into a new PC streaming software, OpenStream. Now I've known about this for a little while. I'm fortunate enough that Maximum Settings, the cloud PC service out of Canada, has kind of included me in a little bit of information and let me know, know that this was coming and I've been able to kind of check it out. Now I'm really excited to finally be able to bring a video out on this and show what OpenStream is because I've made a lot of videos on PC streaming so far and using Parsec and Sunshine, which is, can be difficult to set up, and Moonlight with NVIDIA, which is the best pairing for cloud PC right now. But this is this is a way that we're, we're heading towards making that Moonlight NVIDIA experience cross more platforms with AMD and working well on many devices because Moonlight works so well in so many places. If you compare that with a really nice open source software that you can run on many different builds locally and in the cloud and stream that, then you're really doing something good. And I've been really excited about this open stream software because I do play on and test a lot of cloud PCs and I'm always looking for a better PC streaming experience. Um, so to see something like this happening is great in maximum settings has definitely been putting a lot of work into this. We are in alpha, we're not even in beta yet, but that's okay. It's working well and it's time to start showing what it can do. So what we're gonna do is take a very quick look at the website to give you an, a quick idea more of what open stream is, but I don't wanna spend too much time. I wanna move on and get into the the install, the setup, and show you this software working, streaming a PC both from the cloud and locally to my PC here, to the TV, maybe to the phone. I want to show you it working. We'll look at the desktop and we'll look at some gaming and uh, you'll see the potential here for sure. So going over to the website really quickly, uh, low latency desktop streaming. So make sure that if you're not already, you check out this website. There's a ton of good information here. Uh, laid out really well uh, for what OpenStream is. So it's a nice, easy website to go through and get all of your information. Um, using your cloud PC for high-end gaming, video editing, rendering. Um, maybe you want to free up your local PC to be able to do more work. You render your video in the cloud and you're going to be good to go. And the software will work great for that. Multi-device support. So like I was saying, laptop, phone, tablet, TV. NVIDIA Shield TV Pro is what we're going to use to show uh, my local running on the TV with the software. So um, that's really cool. You can use it on so many devices with Moonlight uh, pairing up with OpenStream. It's really nice. So what we're talking about here is based on existing open source technology such as Moonlight and Sunshine game streaming hosts. So we've been talking about Moonlight, which you may already be familiar with. And then we've got Sunshine, which could be a bear to set up and took a lot of work sometimes. I have a video on that. Um, but the way they've done used that in OpenStream and made it a more streamlined experience, um, there's a ton of potential with that. And we'll take a look at that install and setup. We've got our client software right here, which reading over more seems to refer to Moonlight again. And then our host software, one click install, all the codecs, Windows, Mac, Linux, and here you can download the alpha. And like I said, we are just in the very early stages, but the fact that it even works this well now tells me there's a ton of potential for this to become a really good open source PC streaming software for a lot of people to use. Uh, there's a lot of information down here too. Make sure you check out the site, get answers to more questions here, um, and you'll be good to go. So I don't want to go too deep into this. Uh, I'm going to read one paragraph for you quickly here because I think it's written well for what OpenStream is also. And then we're going to go and we're going to jump right over into installing and setting up. So let me read this to you really quickly. What is OpenStream? OpenStream is a low latency open source streaming client based on open source technologies such as Moonlight and Sunshine Game Stream Host. It is an open source project which is used for cloud computing, whether for gaming, editing, or Windows purposes. OpenStream is your one-stop shop application for connecting devices to cloud computing services. It offers up to 4K resolution at the 120 frames per second. The software will be easily customizable and ready to connect when needed. Just download, install, and within a few clicks, you're ready to go. And it really is that easy. So let's move forward. Let's go check out the install and setup of OpenStream, what it's going to do, and let's take a look at it running on some devices as well. All right, so moving over to the install and setup of OpenStream and Moonlight. And I'll try to go through this as quickly as I can. So let's start with OpenStream. Extremely easy so we're going to go and click download there's multiple areas to download on the website uh, you click any of those download buttons you should get the newest version we're going to save that file it'll download very quickly it's very small 
And if you get this pop up, just click more info and run anyway. You'll be just fine with that. And we're going to do setup. Now you can change the directory it's going to install to if you would like or let it go to its default, but make sure you know where you install it because it doesn't create a desktop shortcut for you. So here we go. We're going to select our components open stream if it's not already selected, accept license, next, next, and install. This will only take a second. It's very small and when it's running, it doesn't use a lot of resource either, which is another nice thing. So now, like I was saying, you don't have a shortcut. So let's go to where we installed this real quick. Our users. And then once you open your open stream folder right here, you go down and find your open stream application and you can easily right click and send a shortcut to the desktop for yourself. And let's open that up. So you're going to see it already says running that quickly here. So it was that easy to download and install and here's your setup hardware for nvidia right now perfect software for amd gpus either way i'm being told that four threads is the way that you want to go right now of course you can play around with that but this is just to get you going on the alpha here so hardware for your nvidia seems to work really well that's good to go software for amd four threads there you have it that's it that's it for your setup except for when it's time to enter your pin for moonlight which we will get into that let's do the moonlight setup and then i'll show you how to connect these things together and we will stream the rx 5700 xt cloud pc supplied by maximum settings for me to do this and we'll look at that running here and then i'm going to show you my local rtx 2060 build running over on the tv through the shield and uh, just show you a little bit of versatility of the program we'll look at the desktop and the gaming so let's go take a look and deal with moonlight all right over here on moonlight another pretty easy setup you want to go to the moonlight website here again i'll have these websites in the description down below but you want to go grab up moonlight so scroll all the way down to the bottom here from their their uh, website and you've got all these options for everywhere that moonlight is available so anywhere that you can install this you're going to be able to stream any pc that you install openstream on so let's let's take a look at that so moonlight for pc and mac i'm on my pc right now so we're going to click download right there and it's going to take you over to this page right here and all the download links now i'm on regular windows 10 so i'm good to go with the 64 bit and this would be for most people and we're going to save that file like always we'll open it up now i'm not going to go ahead and install because you can see i already have it installed but it's very straightforward just install moonlight really quickly and then open it up so i'll go ahead and open up my uh my copy of moonlight here this is the newest version the same thing and here we've got some of the pcs i have access to here now over in settings very simple you've got options for 720 1080 1440p and 4k all at 30 60 and 120. now all of my gaming's done at 1440p even when i stream to my 4k tv i do it at 1440p 120 because my tv and the shield have great upscaling and it's just easier for the internet for everything to run it and i'm able to run that at 80 megabits per second as well um, so but there's a lot of options you can play with full screen display mode vsync frame pacing a lot of other options you can mess with but this is basically the default right here you can go with these settings and it'll get you started now how do we link moonlight to OpenStream and stream a pc all right, so that's what we're going to jump into next. We're going to go and I'm going to boot up the cloud PC, that RX 5700 XT, and we're, I'm going to show you how to connect these together. Very simple. And then we'll be streaming that here, and we'll take a look at the desktop and gaming experience, and then we're going to take a look at the other local build running on the TV. So let's go do that now. All right, so like I was saying, we're going to use this AMD 5700 XT build from Maximum Settings. This is their highest tier AMD build with a Ryzen 3900X. This is a great machine, and this is a great example. This is the best AMD machine in the cloud that I have that I can use OpenStream and Moonlight and show you not only how to connect them and get it working, but how that experience is. So let me show you. I've already got, just like I showed you how to set up, open stream same thing right here it's all set up but like i said we're on software actually we're going to switch down to four on our threads here just to see what kind of difference i have i've been doing some testing with that and we're going to be good to go now how do i connect these let me show you so on my local device here on my pc hey if you're on your tablet your laptop your phone your your tv streaming device whatever it is bring up moonlight that's installed like i showed you how to do and we're going to add a pc and when you add a pc this is done through an ip address so whether it be your local pc's ip address or your cloud pc's ip address 
It really does, doesn't matter. Whatever device you're on, you're going to enter the IP address here, and that's going to hook you up. So let me enter my uh, IP address for this cloud PC, and then I'll show you the connection. All right, so as soon as I enter the IP address for this PC, immediately I get the open stream with the little lock here, which is exactly what you want to see. So as soon as I click this, it's going to create a pin over here on the cloud PC. So let's click on open stream, and here we go, 8631 for my pin, and you can see it popped up right here. So we're going to type in 8631, okay. And now if I bring up Moonlight, you'll see the connection ready to go. So before you do anything, because of resolution issues and everything, we're going to stop, not this, we're going to minimize that, we're going to stop our console. Now here we are on my local PC right now. Here's our Moonlight connected to OpenStream on the AMD rig all the way up in Canada from me here, ready to stream. So let's click on OpenStream. Let's click on Desktop. And there we have it, just like Moonlight does, we'll get connected. 1440p, 120 frames per second. So the desktop experience here is really good through Moonlight. Um, it's been feeling really nice. I don't get any pixelation issues or any problems. We don't have a lot of motion here. So desktop experience has been really nice here. Um, what you just heard there was my, uh, my Xbox One controller connecting. So, and now unless you change it, OpenStream will boot up automatically. So I no longer have Parsec booting up automatically on this machine. I only have um, OpenStream booting automatically. And so far I haven't had any problem with that. I can start this machine. I don't even have to go to the console and check it. Once I know it's started, I go to Moonlight, it pops up, I click it and I'm in. I haven't had any problems with OpenStream and Moonlight just automatically working for me uh, on this machine. All right, so bringing up the web browsing experience really quick, I'll just show you. Here's the uh, maximum settings uh, website right here everything's nice nice and smooth we're good to go like i said the desktop experience uh browsing the web editing videos and stuff uh rendering uh whatever the case may be especially not a lot of motion here it's just it's it's really really nice really crisp everything's looking good oh of course my uh my page here scrolling through youtube so yeah everything is good i've done a lot of testing with this i haven't been booted yet or disconnected uh, or had any problems so uh let's jump over and take a look at a game running on this system this way and uh and see how that does for us all right here i am loaded up on rogue company so far so good hanging out here in the menu i'm just gonna launch a quick strike out and uh we'll jump in and see what happens here all right, and here we are in the game Rogue Company. And to be honest with you, I was really surprised at how well this ran. I was expecting more stutters, pixelation, maybe even a disconnect or some kind of issue. I mean, we are in alpha and uh, I wasn't sure what to expect, but honestly, the experience was really good. So I'm gonna give you some uninterrupted gameplay here so you can see it running. And uh, then we're gonna switch over to the local build. Maneuvered, clean and simple. Let's go, get up. Back to it. Get me up. Next Enemies are out of reinforcement. Overtime. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over. Let's say you want to stream your gaming PC in your house to another device or a TV without having to run HDMI or something like that. We'll do that here with my local RTX 2060 build. So here on my NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, we've got Moonlight installed in, with the app, just like you can on any device that you're going to stream this to that takes Moonlight. 
here we are set up. We're going to add my local PC just like we did on the setup for uh, that cloud PC. So we're going to add it. We're going to put in the IP address of my local PC. We're going to do that pin and then we're going to be connected and ready to go. So here we are streaming my local PC to my TV and we're going to launch some rogue company just to check that out just like we did from that cloud PC build. Um, I also want to show you a little bit of a side by side here in a second, but I'm going to launch an extraction mode and we'll just spend a little bit of time in there. But I want to show you a side by side of my local PC that's actually streaming to the TV. You'll see it's not a lot of latency and when you're playing the game and for this alpha build, it's really, really good. And sometimes it even catches up to the point of not even hardly being noticeable at all. So I thought that was pretty impressive and it was something that I wanted to show here for you guys. Um, the, the the streaming quality and how quick that is right here so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this match just check this out for a minute everything felt really good i didn't get any stutters or major issues and um, i just thought that it felt like a decent experience streaming my local pc to the tv not having to use the hdmi or i could take it on my phone to another room or anything like that so uh, go ahead and check this out and then we'll switch over to uh, taking a look at it running on the phone here in just a minute All right, guys, that'll do it for streaming to the TV. So here you are on my iPhone. We've got Moonlight again already set up. And this is on a cloud PC again, a 2080 Super from Maximum Settings. This is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I thought we would just take a quick look at that running on the iPhone with Moonlight with OpenStream. So that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Open stream overview set up and using it on a few different devices, streaming it from a few different PCs and just giving you a taste of what the possibilities here are. This is just an alpha phase and considering how well it worked for me during all of this testing, even being an alpha build, uh, that's very exciting to see. And we definitely need good PC streaming software out there. And it's nice to see somebody working on it. I'll be covering this like crazy in the future i'll make any videos on any major changes i'll be testing this on more devices and i'm sure there will be lots more content to come when it comes to open stream thanks again for coming to check out the video guys i hope you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ring that notification bell so you know when i drop new videos give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below all that goes a long ways to help the channel and i really appreciate it thanks again for coming to check it out and i'll see you guys in the next one